Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2022 Two Shepherds Soleil Albarreño. But first, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this is a wonderfully bright, sunny wine that is really going to dance all over your tongue. Uh, it's 100% Albarreño from Lodi, California, so grown in a warm climate, much like its Spanish ancestry. There were only about 250 cases of this wine produced, and we were able to acquire a few of the remaining, so we're very excited to get our hands on it. Two Shepherds is a labor of passion founded by William Allen, well-known Rhone enthusiast and former wine blogger. Uh, William was a garagiste long before getting into actual commercial production in 2010. Uh, now, founded in 2010 as a one-person microwinery, uh, in 2015, William was ultimately joined by his partner, Karen Danen, another wine industry veteran and head of consumer research for a multi-brand winery, as they moved into their own production facility in Windsor. So William really focuses on the day-to-day -day winemaking, while Karen, the chief shepherdess, if you will, runs things like foot stomping, blending trials, marketing, accounting, design, and, uh, and a few other key elements of the business. This wine is actually named for the family goat, Soleil. Two Shepherds is what the winemaker would describe as a hobby run amok. Now, I can certainly appreciate the nature of a uh, shared activity between spouses run amok, given our experience with Wine Cult. Uh, but like us here, Two Shepherds has really come a long way since its founding. Um, and they've never in the process lost touch with their principles. So native yeast fermentations are still present. They still utilize no additives other than minimal SO2, neutral barrel fermentation, uh, aging uh, while I should say whole cluster fermentations, uh, unfined, unfiltered production, uh, cool climates, organic and or old vines from small family vineyards. Uh, these are the things that really make Two Shepherds unique and they've never lost sight of those. Notes of honeydew, guava, and kiwi. For those of you who haven't had Albarreño, the grape is really known for its acidity. Now, I love Albarreño on hot days. Uh, it's very refreshing if you pair it with food. Look for pairings with high fat content that aren't themselves over seasoned. So salmon is a really obvious choice. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.